as you probably know by now, Sports Interactive have confirmed that Football Manager 25 will no longer be launched on November the 26th, which is what they said 11 days ago. And that release date has now been moved back to March 2025. And that news has been met with the sort of reaction you would probably expect quite frankly there has been a mixture of disappointment anger outrage some rational responses in there somewhere not many but some and i'm going to try and articulate where i am at this moment in time because because last week i made a video that was asking why is everybody angry and i was trying to be confident about the release of FM25 and I didn't see the blips as anything more than blips and I was like look it'll be fine it'll be fine I accept that you know we've had a slight delay from early November to late November and I even said during the video I had a catchphrase that was let's wait and see let's wait and see and I was like it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine and I even said at the end of the video if it's not fine I will say, I will hold my hands up and say I was wrong. So here goes. I was wrong. Okay? It's not fine. So now what? What do we do now? Okay? Because uh, cause right now, out of all the emotions that there are, for me... I think that I'm, I think I would say I'm disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm certainly not outraged. I think disappointed is where I am. Disappointed because I wanted to play FM25. I was looking forward to FM25. A lot of people were, a lot of people weren't. A lot of people were worried about FM25. And, you know, now clearly with, with due cause, people were worried that they didn't think the game was finished. They didn't think that, it was ever going to be complete on time that there was going to be buggy that things were taken out and some of the analogies that i saw about you know how underdeveloped the game was going to be was just bizarre quite frankly some of the analogies just really didn't work um people saying it was going to be like a console game it was going to be dumbed down it was going to be stripped down they were blaming the fact that women's football was going to be in which was never the situation it was never the problem like women's football was always going to be in any way it was, it was just there was so much noise and then it was like well we haven't seen the match engine we don't know what it looks like there's a trailer that's come out but we don't see anything there and then screenshots that had either errors on it or were like deliberate sort of like red herrings and people were going, well, we're getting, we're not getting messages. We're not getting clear, direct messages. Yeah, I can see it now. Like, at the, like last week, I was looking, going, look, it's not a problem. It's fine. Like, you know, we've been here before. It's a huge undertaking, what SI are doing. They're taking a game that they've had for like sort of 10, 15 years on this engine, and they're building it from scratch. And they're building it from scratch in this new engine over here in Unity. And we know that this was the first of its kind so it was never going to be perfect it was going to be buggy there was going to be problems granted we didn't expect that certain things would be taken out for for launch one for version one we didn't expect international management to be taken out we didn't expect draft mode to be taken away for a little bit we certainly didn't expect player weights to be removed. That came as a complete shock to everybody, right? Now, but we understood that there was going to be issues, okay? And I think what we didn't understand was the size of those issues and just how much of an impact they were going to have on the potential release. Now, as I say, disappointed is where I am. I'm still disappointed. I'm not moving into angry. I'm not. I'm disappointed in the same way that I think that SI themselves were disappointed because they wouldn't have taken that decision to cancel the launch in November lightly. That's not, they would not have woken up and just went, right, just move it back to March, it'll be fine. Like, they will know that there is significant consequences for them moving that launch back, what, nearly six months? 
that's huge because think about the ramification there. You're going to have financial penalties for not launching a game on time. Sega are going to be wanting to know why the game hasn't launched when you've said you're going to launch it. There's licensees and partners that are within the game. The Premier League, for example, they've got the Premier League license in there. That's no longer going to be the full contract from November. That's going to start maybe in March. And then, so then when does that run? So that's a question that's going to have to happen. Then, of course, you've got the the query of, well, do you then rewrite all those licenses and all those contracts? What about the fact that when the game launches in March, there's only about 11 games left of the European football season to play? So that's not very much. So people already thinking they're getting a, a stripped down version of the game. They already felt like they were getting shortchanged in certain circles of comments and posts and discord conversations discourse that they're now not only getting an incomplete version in their eyes they're also getting a version that potentially if the roadmap stays the same fm25 lasts from march to november so they're not getting a full game cycle which again, do you know what I mean? Like, you, I can't argue with people being upset at that. We don't know whether that's the way it's going to be, whether the game cycle is going to stay in March, November, and then November, 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 or whether something else would have to be phased in or out. We don't know. We've seen loads of speculation as to what could be done. People are already saying, well, you know, just stick out a data update for FM24, support that until FM25. Well, I don't think it's as easy as that because... We've mentioned there about licenses for FM25. The licenses for FM24 run out. There's dates for those licenses that they run to, and that's it. If you're on Game Pass, the game, I believe, the game only runs until a certain day, and then it's not on Game Pass anymore. Like, what happens next? This, I presume this is an unprecedented situation that Sports Interactive have found themselves in, and I don't think they ever thought they were going to get to this situation i don't think this was ever on their radar there might have been a bit of concern that things weren't going according to plan hence that little bit of a move back where they thought right give us a couple of weeks we can get things fixed we can iron some little bugs out get it sorted and we're away i don't think it ever crossed their minds that there would be a situation where they'd have to say seven weeks before launch we need another six months on this because they've been working on this for 18 months. Some people might now potentially be thinking, well, hang on, if you've got another six months to, to fix this game, how's about you stick international football back in then because you took it out before and I don't know whether or not that's going to be possible to do. I don't know. I don't know. Like, is it a thought that's crossed Sports Interactive's minds that they can go, well, maybe we get an extra six months. Can we... Can we crowbar international football in and then it, it lands with the women's football full experience where women's football's in and international football's in and we've had that six months to, to, to get the thing that we wanted to put in and it didn't quite work. Can we fix it in six months? I don't know. No one knows because we don't know what the issue is right now that doesn't work. So if we take a look then at the statement that SI put in, out. I'm not going to read it in full, but obviously it's on the screen for you now. For me, the key takeaways in this statement, the bits that jumped out at me straight away. FM25 is the biggest technical and visual advancement in the series for a generation. And we simply cannot compromise the delivery of this crucial juncture in Football Manager's history by rushing to release it in November. So for me, I think that's very clear that it was a quality issue and they don't want to put out a substandard game. They're being accused of bringing out a substandard game anyway. And they say, no, we're not putting it out in the state that it is right now. And that is clearly a reaction because as it says higher up in the statement, it says timelines were already tight. And as rightly pointed out by many of your recent comments, we were simply rushing too much and in danger of compromising our usual standards. So yes, people have been calling it out. Yes, people have been having their say and fair play really for SI for listening and hearing us and hearing you and reacting accordingly and they've decided 
as I said there, that they're not going to compromise. Like, it can't just go out as it is. It also confirms as well at the bottom that says the new gameplay reveal will also now move to the end of January 2025. So that seems to be the next time that we'll get any actual update about what FM25 looks like. I posted, whilst the FM25, that's supposed to say news, by the way, but, you know, dyslexia. While the FM25 news is disappointing, I'm sure this decision hasn't been taken lightly. Personally, I don't feel it's the time for point scoring or I told you so's. I'm sure SI are just as gutted as we all are. And of course, I've had replies saying things such as, this is exactly the time for I told you so's. Surely an update could happen for FM24 to fix any issues and see us through. It's been a PR nightmare. They literally opened up pre-orders and bragged about their roadmap. They made sure they got their pre-order money first. I mean, you can of course get a refund if you want. They've already taken people's money so they won't be giving a flying, well, yeah. Let's see the positivity when they try and charge us for FM24 update. Oh, aren't you level-headed and sensible? Well done, Tony. Yeah, the voice of reason. What do we do now? Right, what do we do now for the next six months? And I think I've got an answer for that. I'll answer that in a second. Right, what do we do now? Can we have a data update for FM24 to last until FM25? I don't think so. Not from SI. Obviously, there's loads of data updates available on Steam Workshop and on various third-party websites. The community will rally around. They will get some updates on there. There's always constant updates going on. So people will find that where they can have the, the latest squads, league tables, fixtures, all that kind of thing. That bit is fairly coverable, right? Granted, the time, the date won't move up, but, you know, we can make do with that. Question about will the game last for a full game cycle? Don't know. Some people suggesting, do they just bypass FM25 completely and go into FM26? No, I don't think that's going to be the situation. I could be wrong. I don't think that'll be the situation. Some people saying, do they bypass FM26? Again, don't think so. Could be wrong. Don't think so. Other question. Well, if we're only going to get a game for six months, argument's sake, March, November, argument's sake, is it going to be full price? Don't know. What happens next? Don't know. What do SI tell us next? Don't know. What happens if SI spend the next six months working even harder than they've already been working to release the game in March? What happens if people's expectations have now risen again and their expectations aren't matched? Then what happens don't know because there is now the argument that some people will be having they're going well you've taken another six months therefore this game had better be good when it's released and i don't know whether or not that is fair pressure to put on si at this moment in time that's my view my view right now is i don't think that's fair pressure to put on i think we keep the expectation as it is now for some people the expectation is absolutely in the bin Right, and they expect so little at the minute they are disillusioned and they have lost faith and they are their opinions of where things are are rock bottom some people are kind of like oh, look, you know yeah it's frustrating but we'll get there we've been here before we've got a bit of credit in the bank let's give them the benefit of the doubt some people are still very much like hey it'll be fine don't worry be all right we'll get there and i think i'm in that Look, SI have got credit in the bank, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, it's disappointing. Yes, we would have preferred the launch in November. Yes, the timing didn't look great. Announcing pre-orders and then 10 days, 11 days later saying, well, there is no game. Like, but just that you can cancel pre-orders. You can refund pre-orders. It's not the end of the world. Like, some creators will rely on the game for income fine some creators don't rely on the game for income that's fine it's an opportunity now to really push ahead with creating some new stories in fm24 we've still got six months of this game left right you don't have to stop playing fm24 if you don't want to like we'll still be playing it i'll still be playing it over on twitch i'll do some more stuff on youtube the podcast still going to go ahead. I did say, you know, right, what's the next steps? You know, what can we do over the next six months? I'm going to bring a video out about that early next week where I'm going to try and decide whether 
I stick with my current Twitch save, which is the Builder Nation in Greece, or whether I start a new save. And if I do, what does that save look like? And you can have some input in that. And we can sort of pick it together and decide upon it. And we'll cut some stuff and we'll put it on YouTube as well because I'm aware that we've streamed on Twitch. We also stream on YouTube now as well, but some people don't have time for three-hour streams. They want to sit down and watch a video. But that's next week's video. That's a lot. We're still working out this bit right now. We're still digesting this news. We did a longer conversation on the FM Show podcast tonight as well. So this is my second record of the evening um, where we did a reaction to, to the news. We put that up on YouTube as well. And we'll put the link in, in the description. We'll put the link up probably about here or something as well. Um, so you can see that. And yeah, I think what we need to do is we need to keep talking. Everyone keep talking. Like not everyone's going to agree with everyone's comments, but join the Discord. Let us know what you're thinking. Comments below. Let us know where you're at. Are you completely checked out now? Are you thinking, okay, fine, you know, six more months, go away, get it done, come back. Are you still of the opinion of, it'll be, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Like, I think ultimately what we need to look at, right, is, and this is my final thought on it, is that SI were kind of damned if they did and damned if they didn't, really. Like, if they brought a game out in November and it was buggy and it wasn't finished and it had flaws, people would have kicked off. And rightfully so, they would have kicked off and they would have complained and they would have said, look, you know, you can't sell us a game that's buggy and incomplete and doesn't work. The other option was to delay the game and people have kicked off. I don't know what they were supposed to do at that point. Damned if they do, damned if they don't. But this is where we are. Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't think there's an ending to this video really because there's no, I haven't got an answer. I haven't got an answer. I don't think anyone's got an answer. But if anyone's got an answer, please forward us an answer because I think we're all ears and check out next week's video about the save ideas join the discord let us know what's going on what a week take care of yourself everyone play nicely see you on the next one